Alright guys, welcome back. In today's question, we have a 200 kilogram crate that is supported by the rope and the pulley arrangement as shown. We need to determine the magnitude and direction of the force speed that must be exerted on the free end of the rope to maintain equilibrium. So as we can see, there is one single rope that goes around the pulley B and it goes to the pulley A after and we'll have the force P that is applying in this rope, uh, which means we have one single rope that has the same tension uh, everywhere. So I'm going to start with the free body diagram. So as I mentioned, we have one rope, which we know the tension in the rope is P and we'll have this force P at the left side of the pulley A and we'll have another of force B to the center of pulley A. So we started with the free body diagram of uh, pulley A and one force left, which would be the rate of the grade, which is 200 kilogram. And if we multiply that by acceleration of gravity, 9.81 meter per square second, we can find the weight, which will be 19. 62 kilonewton and that's pretty much all the forces that we have uh we have some information about here the alpha which is one of the unknowns in the question and if we want to find this uh we have dimension for this part we know this is 2.4 and the other side is 0.75 and from here uh we're good to go to find our angles. Um, we're good to go to move on to our equilibrium equation. Let's start with our fx. Now let's see what we have. So for fx, we have on the right side of the pulley A, the force P, so we'll have P cosine of alpha minus P times the sine of alpha, which will be uh, minus P cosine of the other angle on the left side. Uh, and if you want to find the cosine, we simply have 0.75 divided by hypotenuse of the right triangle that we have, which will be square root of 0.75 plus. And since we have two P's, uh, they have the same angle, they are parallel to each other. So we can just uh, add the other one the same equals zero and from here we can cancel out the p from this equation and we'll be have we'll end up having cosine of alpha equals to two times 0.75 divided by plus 2.4 and if we calculate this we'll get 0 0.5966 and alpha will be cosine reverse of 0.5966 which would be 53.38 degrees and since we got this positive amount the alpha there is another alpha that we can find and we will have minus 53.38 degrees also as another angle that can have the same uh, cosine amount which was point uh, 5966 so we have two conditions in here in one condition we can consider alpha 53.38 degrees and if we go with this one we can move on to our sum of all forces in y direction and if we do that so in y we'll have p uh, sine of alpha minus uh, actually plus 2p this time sine of the angle that we have which will be 2.4 divided by 0.75 squared plus 2.4 squared and minus the weight of the rate equals zero and from here uh, there is one unknown which is p and if we calculate it we'll get 724 newton and as we mentioned the angle will be the positive angle that we have so in the second condition, we'll have alpha this time minus 53.38, which means uh, so this force P in here can be also either, I'm going to show it in red. So we solve it for this alpha, which was 53.4. There is another scenario that this can be also another P to keep the system in equilibrium so that was the first part and now we are moving to the second condition 
So we'll have the same thing again. We have the sum of all forces in y direction, but this time we will have, um, as always, same thing on the left side, 2p times 2.4 divided by 0.75 plus 2.4. And on the other side, we'll have uh, plus p sine of alpha, which alpha this time is minus 53.38. And the weight would be the same, minus 1962 equals zero. And from here, we will find another P, which is 1,773 Newton. And the angle this time would be uh, in the other direction that I'm showing this way. So that would be the final answer. We need to consider both our conditions, uh, which is why the question is asking uh, determine the magnitude and the direction of the force P uh, to maintain the system in equilibrium condition. Uh, we need to be mindful that when we have uh, cosine of alpha equal to A, the alpha will be